step nine in our SEO copywriting series, we're going to do our schema. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, uh, it might be at the top of the page, depending on what website you're on, you're going to see this little spot here that says configure rich snippet. What we want to do is use the drop down arrow and we're going to choose article anytime we're doing a blog post, a video transcript, anything like that. Okay. So article image should be whatever the featured image is of the blog post. Whatever you're putting on the side there for featured image is what you want to browse for here. The article name should be the name of the blog. The short description, you can put the meta description in here or the um, what we put in the excerpt, the intro paragraph, that all works for the short description. Author, in my case, um, it's either Lori Ballin or it's Ballin Brands, and any is acceptable. On my Vegas website, I usually put, put uh, Lori Ballin. On my Lori Ballin site, I put Lori Ballin, and on my Ballin Brands website, I usually put Ballin Brands because the whole team makes videos on that one, so I would put Lori Ballin. Publisher or, or organization, Ballin Brands or Ballin Vegas, uh, Ballin Vegas on the real estate website is what I usually put there. And on my Lori Ballin website and my, infu my marketing company website, Ballin Brands, I'll put Ballin Brands. And then the publisher logo for the real estate team, I put type this in sign and I scour my media here and I put in a something that's got my branding on it. If I'm doing this for my um, Ballon Brands or Lori Ballon site, instead I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put the Ballon Brands logo up there. That is all there is to adding schema to your website through this plugin all-in-one schema, which is a free plugin.